care department of civil engineering to uh, to introduce the speaker to the participants over to you uh, vedita one second A very good morning to one and all present here. It gives me tremendous contentment to have been asked to walk you through and introducing you to such wonderful speakers. It's my pleasure to welcome the speaker of this session, Dr. T. Parni Sami, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, National Institute of Technology, Kannada. A very warm welcome, sir. He Thank has you. published 126 articles in journals and conference proceedings at national and international levels. He has delivered more than 186 keynote lectures. in various levels sponsored by AICT PSIR PRDO PSP etc he completed four funded projects from BST SCRP DBT AICT and so on currently a funded project is going on with a worth of 38 lakhs for the development of concrete batteries he registered 14 patents along with co investors he received 17 awards including the most esteemed award of Vishwakarma award in 2018 by Planning Commission of India New Delhi for best faculty award 2017 Bharat Ratna Mother Teresa award 2014 Dr APJ Abdul Kalam gold medal award 2015 the Indian Concrete Institute honored him by award of outstanding young concrete engineer under his supervision 11 PhDs were completed and four are pursuing his area of research includes development of sustainable material for structural application and micro characterization of the concrete well in short he is a man of too many achievements so without consuming much time i'd like to call upon dr t parni sami to enlighten us with his words sir over to you sir yeah thank you vijay and uh, team uh, thanks for my uh, <clears throat> nice introduction about me so first my sincere acknowledgement thanks to dr kumda and dr vijay and Thank other you. faculty member vijay viknesh and other coordinators and organizing secretary of the sri venkateswara college of engineering chennai so my voice audible now yes sir audible sir okay ppt everything not an yes, issue yes sir it's visible sir yes sir yeah fine you can stop so this day is a very important day in our uh, life also as a civil engineer as a human being also nowadays without concrete we cannot live in the world that is the situation at present every day we are consuming huge quantity of concrete as a cement concrete or cement less concrete cement free concrete so on so we are consuming huge quantity of concrete still a lot of research is going on with respect to that concrete material still the people are trying to understand what is the behavior of concrete in different level so i am very happy to contributing my research towards the concrete one of the best product or best uh, consumed material next to the water in that world so i am say proud so i am the researchers taking the concrete world second used construction material or old second most material used in that human being next to water so we have the more responsibility to control the concrete to produce a good quality of concrete and this concrete is manufacturing material is highly related to environmental aspects so this very good day i am submitting my sincere wishes and gratitude and wishes to that concrete day celebration 2022 as a in concrete engineers like you 
this is a very good opportunity and challenges to take the concrete in the positive sense and right sense it's mold any place anywhere any type of shape and size that is the characteristics of the concrete similarly as a civil engineer you may be live along with concrete or live like a concrete you can survey well any place anywhere so what is the basic property of concrete it changes the shape according to our convenient it changes the setting time according to our convenient changes the initial setting time final setting time and the strength durability and all those things with respect to our convenient similarly you may be young and budding engineers so you may be adaptable you may be acceptable you may be change the technology you may be accept the change the technology you may be accept the places of working and all you have the very good bright, bright future like a concrete right for this note i am again i want to congratulate congratulate this team who are organizing this event and my best wishes for the concrete day celebrations now i come to the topic we are going to discuss about that micro characterization of clinker added cement paste and concrete right i am talking with about the clinker added cement paste and concrete i am not go directly with the concrete so right so i have uh, i probably say uh, i am one of that uh, in concrete engineer awarded of indian concrete institute they are 6 years back in concrete engineer from ica so this is a very good forum you can join with this forum you get lot of opportunities what is innovation involvement is going on concrete you can see this figure in the left side in the first slide these are the some images same images that is called as a scanning electron microscopic images so what do you learn from this after the end of section you can tell this answer so you can see this um, concrete in different aspects for example you can see some structures like pier apartments bridge uh, bridge etc so you cannot notice anything what is happening inside what is inside of the concrete right so i can take small portion of the concrete in this place okay i going to take magnify something i can get this kind of things i can get this kind of things so any person you look at the concrete outside nothing you can see so on just simply the mortar is plastered the concrete like that you take the small portion you can look at the concrete in this aspect we can see some coarse aggregate like this some fine aggregate that are white dot batches is called as a fine aggregate then cement mortar etc again i am going to take the concrete this portion this portion i am going to maximize it and magnify it i can get this kind of information from the concrete some places i can see some white batches some places i can see some black batches some places i can see the black in nature some places i can see some white in color so on so and a lot of combinations inside so looking the concrete in the structure it's a different looking the concrete in that maso level is something different looking the concrete in the micro level is a something different in addition i again i going to take this particular portion i going to magnify it i can get the concrete in the atomic level atomic level what is the need of micro characterization of the concrete at present scenario means you look at the concrete in this macro level entirely different looking the concrete in some micro level micro level 
so we need that at present the concrete want to look either atomic level or macro level today i want to talk about that concrete at the micro scale level for look at this is the chennai lac building most of the people cross the building right you know that what is the building most of the people telling about that lac building like that so small portion i want to take in lac building i'll go inside i can see this kind of informations again i take the small portion i can get this so this building it should be strong means i want to do something here then only it may be reflect and the reflect here right for this what are the things i want to do this is important phenomenon for example the macro scale this is the same image scanner electron microscope images suppose i supply some water here water right so due to this porous and all those things and due to that surface morphology of this material surface morphology of the material it may be changes the property for example i can supply the water here easily penetrate where it is a void center this is one kind of path another is with respect to the solid it tends to flow and uh, with respect to some other matters it tends to flow like this so once we want to we need that more durable concrete you look at the concrete in that micro level scale then only you can get that very good quality of the concrete so that purpose we are studying about the concrete now the cement based concrete slide it's moving vijay yes yes sir yes sir moving sir okay i am talking about cement based concrete correct yes sir slide okay yes sir yes sir yes sir yes fine now uh, here after i can use uh, some uh, word like at cement based mortar concrete the cement based concrete is no need of any cement also even right without cement we can get the concrete like a lime concrete jo polymer concrete so on so what is cement based concrete we have the portland cement and the fine grade coarse aggregate is called as a cement based concrete the portland cement and water we can called as a cement paste the previous slide i referred no cement paste then cement paste add with the fine aggregate we can get the mortar the mortar add with coarse aggregate we called as a concrete so no need to go the up to the concrete level you can study about these two phases you can get more idea about that concrete then the most of the people you know about that portland cement at present we are using portland cement where you do produce the constants material from the portland cement we need calcium we need silica we need aluminium we need iron and sulfates these are the sources of calcium limestone marble cement rock alkali waste etc quartz is nothing but sand sir is like is nothing but sand obtained from quartz clay limestone so on so etc alumina bauxite and all those things so on so right now the compound composition of clinger and cement the four major compounds formed from the oxides under the high temperature in the clen you know the clen cement manufacturing they are using the rotary clen it tends to rotate the temperature also varying from some temperature to higher elevated temperatures the different uh, distance with respect to different dis distance that is the clen then name of the oxides and notation then c 3 cao sio2 we can called as c3s how it forms and all that is cement chemistry cement chemistry dicalcin silicate 2 CaO SiO2 we can called as C2S C2S tricalcium aluminate we can called as C3A tetracalcium aluminoferrite 
4 CaO, Al2O3, Fe2O3, C4AF. These are the simple notation we can call C3A, C2A, C3A, C4AF. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, s
the temperature changes from here to here after that after the calcination all the process you can get the clinker now i want to i want to know about that what is the things is happening how this kind of changes lime how to changes and the silica how to changes and in between the silica and the lime how its reactions happening with respect to heat this kind of things we want to learn that is called as a micro characterization of the clinker micro characterization of the clinker now you can see this is the typical clinker okay, like a boulder like this like this now 3 to 25 mm diameter clinker size 20 to 25 percentage molar in state this is the scale now what is the happening in the clum what's happening in the clum so this is the process the cross section in the clum neutralization process the clingering reactions so we know that the c3s c2s c3a c4 if alite belite aluminate ferrite selite and phyllite these are the some chemical name we can call all like this so you can right side this is the picture image of semi images semi is nothing but scanning electron microscope it gives the surface morphology of the material you can look at in the naked eyes you cannot see this kind of images so you may be experience some experience in the microscope so with the naked eyes you couldn't find anything in that anything in the microorganisms in the surfaces and all but same things may be look in with respect to micro sorry with respect to microscope you can see something that some find some bacteria and all you can find using the microscope similarly you go for the semi images you can get the what is the surface morphology not inside eh? what is the surface it may be some different metal have the different surface morphology for example you can take the quartz and all have the well defined structure quartz and all have the well defined structures like a silica fume and other fly ashes and all it's irregular in shape some spherical in shape in the structure like this here i can take that cross section view of the clum around 700 degrees centigrade raw materials are freely flowing like a powder like this the new neutralization process the practic practicals sorry particles are not solid no reaction between the particles no reaction between the particles now around 700 degrees centigrade the water is lost in the clean water tends to evaporate so that is usual procedure is correct if the heat any material after 100 degrees centigrade water tends to evaporate then dehydrated clay recast crystallizes so hydrated clay dehydration process dehydrated clay already we have the clay silica and all the water is left from the clay that is called called as a dehydrated clay recrystallizes so the clay it may be changes the crystalline process right so the structure will be changes now here the well de well defined matter you can see here well defined matter here then co2 and all we have co2 it's a uh, the rounded particle is represented is the clay then limestone you can see in the same the limestone the shape like this well defined shape the angular in shape the clay particle and all irregular in shape in the rounded shape like this the water tends to evaporate now next process around 700 to 900 degrees centigrade the powder is still freely flowing particles are still still solid 
the as the calcination continues what is the calcination the limestone you take and fire it you can get that process is called as a calcination as the calcination continues free lime is increases free lime is increases what is the free lime and hydrated lime the water is evaporated from the lime is called as a free lime the reactive silica combines with reactive silica combines with calcium oxide any problem calcium oxides to begin c2s what is that what is a c2s c2s is nothing but belite dicalcium silicate calcium and silicate it forms dicalcium silicate that is called as a belite then calcination remains calcination maintains feed temperature at 800 degrees centigrade this is happening up to 800 degrees centigrade so in seal stage you can see this figure like this some heat is increases from 700 degrees centigrade to 900 degrees centigrade the small things is forms that is called as c2s c2s sanjay switch off your mic sanjay switch off your mic from dce 019 sanjay yes thank you now uh, 1152 1200 degrees centigrade in the clean cross section the particle starts to become a sticky in nature the nodulation process the reaction starts happening between the solids and particles the reactions it starts happening between the solids and particles you can see here the color changes here like this color also changes like this what is happening here when calcination is complete calcination is complete completed means the all the calcium is became as a calcium oxide when the calcination is complete the temperature is increases rapidly so you heat some material any process happening inside it consume the heat or otherwise it cannot consume the heat that's why the temperature increases when calcination is complete the temperature is increase then small belite belite is nothing but dicalcium silicate crystals form from the combination of silicates and the calcium oxide silicates and the calcium oxide so first you can see here this is the pre calcium oxide the calcium oxide with the pre pre calcium oxide calcium oxide you can react with small things a small uh, compound that is called as a belite pre calcium oxide and uh, these things is components combines together we can get that belite this is the combination now around uh, 1200 to 1350 degree centigrade this material tends to melt melt due to this surface heat and all surface heat in around that material it tends to attract each other the capillary force of the liquid keep particles together before that like this here all the particles due to the capillary forces and reactions it's combined like this like a boulder above 1250 degrees centigrade the liquid phase is formed this liquids allows the reaction between the belite belite is nothing but dicalcium silicate belite and the free calcium oxide to form the allite so belite and the calcium oxide is create the allite so you can look at the microscope you can see here rounded belite crystals it forms rounded crystal it forms so angular allite crystals forms you can see here rounded like rounded things we can called as belite then angular things you can see 
in the semi majors you can called as allied so this is the surface morphology this is the surface mar surface marble still we have some clay also that will be react at the end around 1350 degrees centigrade to 1450 degrees centigrade agglomeration and layering of layering of particles continues as a materials falls in the top of each other you can see here up after this it's may be fall here and there then neutralization process will form with a sufficient liquid the insufficient liquid will form the dusty clinger so it can select this boulder like this so insufficient liquid it forms a dusty clinger this is another area of research then what is that same we can learn belite crystals degreases belite crystals degreases like a dicalcium silicate degreases in amount dicalcium silicate degreases in amount increases in the size so increases in the size in allied increases in the size and amount quantity also increases size also increases in silly we have the solid compound after that calcination process it's become as a semi liquid and changes the faces right after the cooling for the room temperature the clinger noodles remains unchanged during the cooling cooling upon the cooling then c3a and c4af alumino ferrite alumino ferrite crystal in the liquid phase the laminar stretches appears in the belite crystals okay before you can see some rounded particle and all those things after that this is became as a laminar structure already you studied the geology it's right geology what is the laminar structure crystalline structures so on so the laminar flow also is studied in fluid mechanics is right like this like this laminar structure so what is the advantages of this kind of laminar structure means i can take this is the laminates this is the laminates like this okay i can apply the load apply the load it take more time to break because this is the laminate structure for example i can take only small only one string i can apply the load easily it's break the same things i can make it the number of string i can apply the load it take more time to break right so whenever we have that uh, laminar structure and all it's increase the flexural resisting capacity and as well as increase the tensile property of the material right this is the uh structure changes now from this uh slide one you can see no right in the raw material we have the separate limestone separate then uh, silica is separate calcite is separate clay is separate due to this calcination process the unwanted water it may be evaporate the clay tends to react and form the new compound that is called as allied belite aluminate ferrite etc these are the what is that happening inside the clay reaction so then clinker microstructure i can see i can tell about one minute here so using the semi majors we can get some angular type and all we can call it's called as allied then irregular nature for example here i can get some angular nature is right angular angular nature so this is called as uh, allied allied you can see here also allied okay so irregular in nature in the sim is called as be like like this so rest of the things is called as a uh, ferrite aluminate and this all the things so depends upon that now you can look this uh, things in uh, scan and electron microscope 
the magnification is important for example i can take on size of the sample for example 2 millimicron that is the size suppose i can take this is the millimicron size so i can magnify it the particular place for 100 times certain time 100 times 1000 times lakh times you going to magnify it so what is happening i going to magnify it this kind of 3000 times in particular place for example this place alone this place alone i can see this kind of structure like a one l angle like a l angle you can see here like this l angle so uh, you, you can tell about that uh, suppose in case of uh, any stick like this any stick apply the load we take more tensile load and all those things but in this cross section you can see the bunch of the stick bunch of stick like this okay this is a stick like this so here easily water tends to penetrate water tends to penetrate we have this kind of structure is more in the structure in concrete what will happen easily water tends to penetrate or other chemical agencies like a calcium like a chloride and a carbon and all easily tends to penetrate so the automatically the low, uh, durability of the concrete will be affect so these are the things you learn from the semi majors for example here also some images given for your references here some images like this now summary of clen reaction right this is the temperature right different process happening in the clen one is a dehydration zone calcination zone clinkering zone and also cooling zone okay in the dehydration stages okay free water tends to evaporate then after the dehydration the clay compose decompose the clay react with calcium oxide silica and all those things after the temperature around 800000 to 200 degrees centigrade the limestone decompose okay after that insel formation of compounds then insel formation of c2s the dicalcium silicate then formation of the melt after that c3s it will be formed with respect to temperature so this zone c3s will be formed okay these are the summary of the clean reactions so up to that we learn about that what is that clingering reaction or micro characterization of the um clinker now come to the concrete concrete is a three phase system now it's concrete as a three phase system like we are study about the geotechnical engineering and soil mechanics the soil is a three phase material water voids and solids similarly here also the concrete may be considered to consist of three phases the cement phase aggregate and interfacial transition zone the concrete may be considered to consist of three phase one is the cement phase cement phase here cement phase and aggregate another one is transition zone between them for example i can take this is the concrete cube this is the coarse aggregate so this is a cement paste in around we have the cement paste with the fine aggregate and all so we can have some interface between these two so this is another theory take more time want to explain here so this is the first phase that is the sorry cement phase this is the first phase another one is a second phase aggregate phase second one then in between these two is called as a third phase so now concrete is called as a three phase material system right 
now i can take the small congruent portion right i take only that cement paste okay i want to magnify it magnify it i take 100 millimicron size i can magnify it 200 times i can see this kind of images so in naked eye you cannot see anything we can see only the coarse aggregate and mortar or fine aggregate so on so i want to magnify it this person i can get this kind of magic inside the concrete for example i can see some needle like structures i can see some gap i can see some white gray color and all okay in my interests i go in deep i take the particular portion again i can magnify it again i can magnify it. i can see in that around 2000 magnification i can see here some structures plate like this right some needle like this you can see here needle like this you can see some black also black portion also again i go in take in the deep this portion alone i going to magnify it right i can see this kind of structures so before you cannot imagine this kind of needle this kind of voids this kind of plates is available in that concrete pits okay now once you can adjust these kind of things automatically the durability of the concrete will be increases strength will be increases so look at the concrete in this in this scale we can called as micro characterization of the concrete micro characterization of the concrete for this we need some advanced machine also so we can we, we can characterize this material using scan electron microscopy transmit electron microscopy we can called as a tem atomic force microscopy we can called as afm atomic force microscopy right so with respect to this optimal magnification range is well photo uh, petrographic intermediate sem high magnification sem nano stretches these are the magnification ranges suppose what are the things you want to learn you can go this kind of instruments now micro structure of the concrete can be described in the following aspects one is that hydrated cement paste another is a pore structure another one is interfacial transition zone right i am not talking about the pore structure of the concrete then interfacial transition zone not talk about that so i want to talk about these portion alone this also take one or two hours to want to discuss then hydrated cement paste so all of you all uh, previously we did, uh, have introduction about that what is the raw material required for manufacturing the cement so how to manufacture the clinker how to get that cement so this powder form cement add the water add the water what will happen that is called as hydrated cement paste okay what is the what is the things is happening hydrated cement paste in the micro level using the same images we want to quantify it so hydrated cement paste with the represent the hydrogen pro, uh, hydrogen products of the cement and water reaction and the main product of this reaction calcium silicate hydrates so calcium silicate hydrates similarly previously we can have c2s c3s c4af like this after that adding the water plus h2o plus h2o you can get calcium hydroxide silicate hydrates it's called as csk then ch calcium hydroxide and all calcium hydroxide that is called as a hydration process okay here what is the csk calcium silicate hydrates we can call it as a csk how it looks in the same how we can characterize this csk ch and all 
you can see in the elaborately that is called as micro characterization of hydrated cement paste so i put in the title no micro characterization of cement hydrated cement paste and the concrete okay now my micro structure of hydrated cement paste okay the micro micro structure of hydrated cement paste the term of hydrated cement paste is used to refer as the paste made up of portland cement water portland cement and water that is called as a hydrated cement paste so with respect to the time with respect to the time the hydrated cement paste characters will be changes characteristics will be changes initially in colloidal in nature after some times the colloidal it's became as a some stiff in nature after some time it's a stiff became as a strongest na strong in nature after some time it's a strong became as a more strong in nature in qualitative right so how it's happening how it looks like in the same and all things we can see in elaborate way so uh, this is the micro structure of hydrated cement paste the chemical composition of principal clinker compounds corresponds approximately for example uh, calcium oxide cao we can call it as a c 45 to 60 percentage sc can call it as sio2 15 to 30 percentage then alumina we can call it as a we can 6 percentage to 12 percentage fe can called as fe to o3 6 percentage and ac is oa 8 percentage hc is called as h2o okay in ordinary ordinary portland cement the respect to amount usually the range is between 45 60 so on so when portland cement is dispersed in the water you take small quantity of cement okay pour the water when portland cement is dispersed in the water the calcium sulfate calcium sulfate that is called as gypsum no calcium sulfate and high temperature compound calcium high temperature compounds of calcium begins to go into the solution and the liquid phase gets rapidly saturated with various ionic species liquid phases changes to some ionic phases what's happening as a result of interaction between calcium sulfate aluminate calcium cao sulfate aluminate calcium sulfate aluminate and hydroxyl ions fe2o3 like that hydroxyl hydroxyl ions within the few minutes within the few minutes of hydration adding the water within the few minutes the cement hydration the needle shape crystals needle shape crystals of calcium trisulfoaluminate hydrates calcium trisulfino sulfoalumino hydrates is called as ittringate so within few minutes you can see in that scanning electron microscope needle like structures you can see like this is a needle like structures around 700 mm micron you can see needle like structures so needle like structures is present in the hydrated cement paste we can called as ittringate this is the primary hydration process this called as primary ittringate okay so this name is called as ittringate okay so this is called as a needle slip stitches within few minutes so the few hours later after some hours okay the few hours later large prism prismatic crystals large prismatic crystals prismatic crystals is nothing but uh, prism means like a cube a cuboid cuboid like say this is the prism like this then few hours later large prismatic crystals okay large prismatic crystals of calcium hydroxide that is we can called as ch calcium hydroxide 
and very small fibrous crystals varies from small fibrous crystal of calcium calcium silicate hydrates simply we can called as csh begins to fill the empty faces formerly occupied by the water so that's why the most of the time now we are calling about that water cement ratio is important so the more water have the more amount of voids so the voids cannot be filled by means of these hydrated cement products the automatically the durability of the concrete will be affected okay for that we want to control the water cement ratio right the dissolving in cement particles so we can see in the same images this is fibrous crystals fibrous crystals you can see in the full images the csk looks like this calcium silicate hydrates looks like this you can see this is the csk you can see here some needle like structures you can see some voids and all those things you can see some gap voices and all those things now what do you look at here means some uh, in semi majors you can see this kind of things like a cauliflower you can see no cauliflower like this we can called as csk calcium silicate hydrates calcium silicate hydrates in addition to that in the semi majors we can see some needle like structure also and also you can see some black color that is called as a voids now i can take in the deep csk alone and ch alone what is happening in the next slides now after some days for example 3 days 4 days something like like that after some days depending upon that alumina to sulfate ratio the alumina and the sulfate ratio in the portland cement entering entering it may be become as unstable and will decompose to form the monosulfo aluminate hydrates monosulfo aluminate hydrates with the presence of alumina and sulfates this entering it it may be changes to phase needle phase to some other formats that is called as secondary entering it formation that is called as secondary entering it formation and formation then then initially the primary entering it formation needle like structures after some days the needle becomes like a hexagonal plate structures plate like like looks like the feathers of a rose like this okay petals of the rose like this that's called as a plate right the initially needle like structures after some days it's became as a hexagonal plate morphology then hexagonal plate morphology is also the characteristics of a calcium aluminate hydrates calcium aluminate hydrate cah cah are formed is hydrated base either under sulfated high c3a portland cement then scanning iceland microscope you can see primary entering it formation needle like structures after that we can see like this this is called as a secondary entering it formation now in that uh, hydrated cement paste we have a uh, three solids voids as well as a liquid uh, water also then we can see now the solid matter hydrated cement paste we have the solid okay voids and liquid also liquid also so i want to talk about that only the solids and liquids and voids so these three is a phenomenon for the time constraint i want to take about only the what are the solid compounds is present in the hydrated cement paste okay initially we start with raw material after the clingering reaction after the cement microstructure now hydrated cement paste microstructure so what are the four solids present here calcium silicate hydrates 
calcium hydroxide, calcium, sulfo aluminate hydrates, anhydride clinger grains. These are the four solids present inside the present inside the hydrated cement paste. Now, what is the characterization of calcium silicate hydrate? So I want to take in the details. You can see. So this is the calcium hydroxide. I already told you know CSH we have CH we have. So how it looks like CH in the semi majors? The CH semi majors looks like this prismatic crystals. Whenever see any kind of uh, prismatic crystal present in the hydrated cement paste, it is represented as calcium hydroxide. So it is have the more less uh, surface area, the boulders like this. So it have the more porous and the more sorry less surface area it's reduce the strength of the cement paste reduce the strength of the cement so CSH is a very important now this CHS is create the sulfate attack in that cement paste so another one is a unhydrated cement grains so some things is not react with the other materials this is called as unhydrated cement so these are the solids okay now with respect to the porosity initially the concrete have the 100 percent porosity hydrated cement paste or concrete water it may be once this reaction it starts this porosity is filled by means of this kind of components ettering aid csh co watch trace C4, AF, H2, some so, so on, so things. The initially the porosity is high, so after this occupy some extent, even two days, three days, seven days, fourteen days with respect to the cement, the porosity is going up. The area is filled by means of solid matters, right? You can see here capillary porosity and the less solid matter. After some time now. This less porosity, the more solid matter. So this is the beauty of uh, cement paste. So these are the some air voids. Now uh, we can have that water solids under water also. Now I can take uh, uh, some C sketch semi majors C sketches. Calcium silicate head semi images looks like a uh, cauliflower, like this. It's okay. Irregular in surface morphology. Irregular in surface morphology. That CSH yes, CSH itself have some porous inside. That porous have some water. That also water also create the lot of problem inside the concrete. So we have the capillary water, absorbed water, interlayer water, chemically bounded water, so on. So. Now uh, I can see some semi images. For example, I go back again. Okay, you can see here itself. I can take this portion alone. Okay, you go in D. This is like a small solid. Okay, solid. In inside we have the pore. This also pore. The black and all. It's called as a pore. So in this solid also have some pore. So if water is enter, what will happen? The solid to solids easily water tends to penetrate. Then water is present here in between the solids. It's it may be absorbed. Similarly, here also, similarly, here also, so this is the one small portion of CSH. This is the small portion of CSH. I already told you, you know that the CHS have that combination of layer like this layer 
like this okay this is the solid layer this is another solid layer this is another layer solid layer in that micro level so don't don't think about this massive level micro level so in between we have the water we have the water so this is the one layered surface this is another layer surface you can see here this is the csh this is one layer this is another layer in between two layer this layer and this layer we have the some water that is a corona like water is called as capillary water what water that water is called as a capillary water so in the solid itself we have some water that is called as interlayer water these are the solid this water is called as a interlayer water like a star it is interlayer water so these are all the voids okay we have the water in the solid two solids for example so i can take one solid here i can take another solid here in between the water what will happen this solid to absorb the water to absorb the water so some water it may be take that water is called as absorbed water so these are all the properties very very important property if study about the durability of the concrete okay so the water tends to propagate is to enter here easily enter the solids liquid and all those things is coming out so what happened durability of the structure will be affect okay this is capillary water interlayer water csh now this is the typical example of how it's uh, what are the water is present in the hydrated cement paste this is the solid solid okay ischemic preparation so these are the capillary water the water is slowly easily enter so due to this um capillary reaction and all the water tends to yes as i friends one or two minutes the water easily enter and drain okay so these are the some images of flash ash okay semi images the flash images looks like a egg shell okay once is the this chemical reaction starts the egg cell starts to break then other matters may be enter inside it can get that good strength so this is the semi images of silica film whenever you can see this kind of structures this is represented as a silica film this is the C, uh, ggbs you can see solid like structures you can see metacal and irregular in nature like a cloud irregular in nature so these are the some images of same plate like structures okay clay ash dump some pore silicon dioxide oh here we can see some needle like structures clear flash 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 pentonate calcium oxide coh trace some angular like structures so this is the reacted flash you can see the flash before reaction like this after the reaction the flash like this like ice cream right so we learned today what are the raw materials required for that cement manufacturing and what are the chemical composition of raw material for cement manufacturing what is happening inside the cling how to look at this metal microstructure level once this clinger you get add the gypsum you get this get the cement what is the characterization of the cement after that add water into the cement the hydrated cement paste you can get what is the happening how it changes how it look in that same images and if you add some flashes and silica film ggb and all how it react these are the things you have learned today this is only the introductory part about the micro characterization of the material i am offering the course for my mtech students around 45 lectures is required to complete the entire micro characterization of the concrete we are talking about only at the same in addition that we have n number of other 
instruments to characterize the material. So with this, I want to conclude my section. My sincere thanks to goes to the uh, Dr. Kumta, President Head, Department of Civil Engineering, Sri Vengadesara Engineering College. So thank you very much. Thanks to my organizer and my dear students, the passenger sitting around 54 members in this forum. Thank you. If you have any doubt and all, you put in that chat box, otherwise ask one or two questions, I will answer. Thank you. Over to organizer. Thank you so much uh, for your session, sir. Thank, Thank you so you. much. It has been uh, really an informative session for uh, every participants. So I request any, I mean, I request all the participants, if you have any doubt, you can ask, you can unmute, you can ask, or you can put it in the chat box. Participants. Okay, if uh, no questions, sure. we can wind up the session. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. No questions, sir. I think uh, from the participant. Okay. So, uh, thank you so much for your. Sorry, sir. Uh, we have one question from the participant. Sir, uh, can I read the question, sir? Uh, someone from the participant they asked how to know what uh, CaOH2 by morphology or any other chemical elements. So with respect to the morphology, first you want to know about that what is the basic morphology of CA watch price, how it looks like, like a needle structures, like a irregular state or amorphous states or a columnar structures, different structures. Then only you come to the conclusion which may be possibility of CA watch price. So the basic chemistry is like it. For example, C C S H means irregular shape like that. So refer at that some chemical uh, library. What is the morphology of CaOH trace? We can get the structures, like a laminar structures. It's supposed to be CaOH trace, like that. So basic uh, introductory part is required uh, to identify what is that compounds present inside the uh, material. For example, uh, with different materials placed in front of you, you can. Uh, Easily identify, you know, which one is cement, which one is mortar, which one is brick, with respect to your surface morphology, right? The same brick may be covered by means of some color paper. You may be thinking about this, may be gift. So you have some knowledge about that surface morphology. Then only you can understand what is inside the matter and all. That is the answer for your uh, question you go for some basics of chemistry you can get what is that surface morphology of ca over its trace in the different state liquid state gas phase states and other different states also it's a need that's maybe changes and the different environment also changes that is a pure chemistry i hope answer your question partially yes sir yes sir yes sir thank you thank you so any other questions, participant? Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Like an opportunity here. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I can leave now. Ah, yes, sir. You can leave, sir.